role very much is about leading our team of data scientists and making sure that we are staying on top of every latest development and applying that very specifically to our industry, which is ultimately all about helping our clients understand their risks better, where possible mitigate those risks, and then thirdly making sure that their risk transfer solutions are as optimum as possible. For me, you know, it's the most exciting industry for a data scientist to be in. In my opinion, the insurance industry is actually the original data industry and we can trace our origins all the way back to the Lloyds marketplace and when uh, the capitalist world as we know it now kind of began uh, with trading and marine vessels etc. And There was obviously a whole load of uncertainty and risk about that and that's where you know data came to the fore and people actually started collecting data, generating data to understand these risks. The most rewarding thing for me is working with people who genuinely get a kick out of solving problems and you know watching all the different skill sets at play, people's sort of creative thinking in terms of how they approach a problem, but then fusing that creative thinking with logic and science and, and, and data science and machine learning can just be phenomenal. The future of work, particularly in relation to the insurance industry, is very exciting and I think we're going to be impacted more than other industries actually in terms of what our workforce is going to look like and it's going to be quite dramatic I think the distinction between what it was 10 years ago and what it will be in 10 years. There will be a growing demand for data scientists, machine learning, um, our actuaries are really well placed I think to, to take on some of that workload, they have the right skills and mindset so that you will see an evolving career path for our actuaries and our catastrophe modelers, etc. And I think what we'll also see is very non-typical skill sets coming into our industry. We're already seeing that our centre here actually is maybe ahead of the curve, given that it's 10 years old. And I suppose the types of skills that you see in this centre is what you're going to see you know, more widespread across the industry, I would imagine.